We're here at the Bank of Ireland Opus Architecture and Construction Award 2008. The Opus Awards recognise the vital relationship between architecture and construction. This year has two new categories, the Lifetime Achievement Award and the Art and Architecture Award. Here are some of the winners from earlier. <laughs> Cheers lads. Uh, my name is Andrew McGon from McGon Architects and we've just won uh, an award for the, our house Tua Namara in Port Salon, County Do Donegal in the under 2 million category. Excellent. My name is Niels Mershberg, I was the project architect on the job working for Anton and Tala, his brother for McGon Architects in Donegal. Thank you. Yep. Um, can you just give us a, a quick aspect, say the, the challenges you faced during this build? Well, the project's located in a quite a sensitive site uh, in, on, along the shores of Lost Willie. Mm. So we were trying to design something that met the client's brief, uh, but while also not being too visible in the landscape. So we chose materials and a form and a location and an orientation to, to minimise its impact, while giving the client uh, lots of light and room inside. So yeah. I think we achieved all of those, and it's not that very visible in the landscape uh, as a result of that. Yeah. Excellent. Um, how does it feel to win an award and get recognition for it? Just great, and I hope it's not the only one tonight. <laughs> Excellent. Well, congratulations and thanks very much for spending your yeah. time. Good Excellent. luck. Well done. Yeah. Look, for Tua Namara, it was primarily to do with the environment and uh, dealing with the elements and nature and a very robust site. And um, in Letterkenny, it was dealing with a very tight urban site and having to make a very important public building. Um, giving it prominence on the high street, if you like. Excellent. Um, and what's it feel like to win an award and get recognition? Well, it's my first, so it feels great to have at the moment. <laughs> first of many, it's. First of many. First of many. I think this is your second award, yeah, isn't it? Yes, another glass of wine. <laughs> very happy to have won the award, uh, along with Pat, for what was a very nice building, beautifully designed building, beautifully built by an excellent contractor. We enjoyed the whole process um, and we'd also like to thank our client for commissioning us for the project and I'd like to thank everybody in Scott Town and Walker who worked on it and Pat and Pat's team and um, the Irish Lights team. The Irish Lights were moving from the city out into the suburbs of Dunleary and we had to phase the works according to how they operated. We had to demolish half of their building, keep their operation going 24-7. From the end, uh, the quality of the design a year before we started the uh, circular glaze building was unbelievable. I had a great team and uh, Dave had a great team and I think we both got great enjoyment out of the project. A lot of long hours and a lot of hard days but uh, great clients, fantastic site and um, I think it's a beautiful, just a beautiful building. The architectural challenge is really related to the fact that uh, the brief was to provide a four screen cinema below ground with very little um, footfall presence. For anybody it's, it's, it's a cinematic experience, it's yeah. really you need, it, need to go there to, to really appreciate yeah. the, the, the yeah. whole concept of yeah. it. Congratulations lads, Thank thanks, thanks so much for a few minutes, no problem. Have a nice night. It was a very large construction project in a built up area on the main arterial route into the city. Mm some major environmental challenges um, to overcome. The development is about 100,000 square meters built and it's a low energy development which had a lot of challenges during the process. Um, very proud that really the, the project was built in four years with the McNairs and um, it was a good working relationship. We're very happy that the project achieved. Excellent. You got your recognition. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think one of the aspects of the project being a design and build project it meant that architect and builder had to work so uh, very side, much hand yeah. in hand. I suppose the biggest challenge in the whole lot was linking the three phases together without disrupting or disrupting the people who are using the buildings as little as possible. We're designing uh, the future phases as the, the first phase is under construction and we had to work very closely with the, the contractors, with David and his team on that. And uh, I think, you know, it was a Credit to the, the working relationship we had together. It was a very good collaborative effort to, be, to achieve the, the phasing of the design and the phasing of the construction and to, to finish with a building that is actually something that we can, we can be proud of. I'm Eugene Cleary, uh, director of Cleary Doyle, uh, who is the, the builder for the for the for the opera house, and, and uh, delighted to have had such an achievement. And uh, it turned out a wonderful job, and we're delighted with the with the, uh, with the award. It really was f fitting a building the size of a football pitch into a kind of a little back lot, accessed just by a five metre wide street, with 30 residents living on it. So it was all very tight. And credit I mean, to the unusual thing, I suppose, for the opera house is it had no 
big grand frontage. It was it's actually tucked away in the back street, so it's actually a very modest building. Yeah. And I think that's part of its pleasure as well. I think we've all enjoyed yeah. how successful that's it's, it's a building that works at fitting in, you know, discreetly yeah. into the medieval weft and weave of, of Wexford Street. And how does it feel to win an award like this? Good, good. All the years um, of hard work. Yeah, pretty there's no jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the only thing, I think. You all think yeah. you're going to have to move abroad? I'd well, expect so, but I, I, I don't think that people, uh, like, especially old people, feel uh, too sorry for us because they had to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. We took it on and transformed it into a modern office facility and library for uh, Offaly County Council. The fabric it really had to be uh, kept as it was. Um, and doing that had to be good. It was very delicate work, and really, you know, that type of work is delicate, and uh, but a, a pleasure to work on. Here we are at the Opus Awards with Kieran Conn from the Opus and John Boyce from Bank of Ireland. John, can I start with you? Um, why do you feel it's important for Bank of Ireland to support the Opus Awards? Well, I, I don't particularly think any architect or anybody else in the field of endeavour starts off uh, with the objective of hoping to win a prize. Um, but uh, it is always nice to be recognised, uh, uh, and Bank of Ireland. Um, is happy to be associated with uh, the promotion of excellence, uh, which is what uh, the Opus Awards are all about. Um, architecture is part of the community, and we like to think that Bank of Ireland is part of the community. So happy to do that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and how have uh, the Opus Awards helped the industry? But what they do is, even in a time of what people might call recession, what you're recognising, as John has said, is, is excellence. So what you're saying is, you're recognising quality, excellence in construction, excellence in architecture, and you're saying, well, notwithstanding anything else that happens, you're admiring that excellence. And it's important for any society to do that, no matter what else is happening around us, because things happen, things change, but over time, quality wins out. And the, the result of looking at what excellence does and quality does for an environment is very important for any society. Well, can I just say thanks very much for your time? No, no. Thank Pleasure you, to meet you. Cheers. Thanks very much. Thank you. Have a nice evening now. Thank you.